We are back in Trojans Live. Jordan Moore and John Jackson get ready for your next big game. Let Ralph's help make game time a little easier. Place your order today for ready-made party platters at your neighborhood Ralph's Daily or ralphs.com slash order online. Our next guest joins us on the phone, and it's the great Amy Rodriguez. We're going to take up half the segment just listing her resume. <laughs> Coming off a t- 2015 World Cup winner, Olympic gold in 2008 and 2012, and, of course, the 2007 national champion here at USC. That doesn't even count the NWSL championships. My first question to you, Amy, is if you could only keep one trophy, one medal, which one are we keeping? (laughs) Um, Well, for this radio show, I'd say my national champion. Oh, you know your audience. (laughs) You know, Amy, you know, reflect back on your years at USC. Um, you know, obviously the Trojans are back on the rise, trying to get exactly where you were when you were here to back to a national championship. You know, re- reflect back on the special moments. What do you what what do you are most proud of um, in terms of accomplishments and things that you did at, at USC? Well, I think winning a national championship at USC uh, was such a big accomplishment for us because we were such an underdog that year. Um, we'd have our bumps in the road and. Uh, I really felt like it was one of the most team wins that I've ever, you know, been a part of. Um, soccer is a team sport, and the group of girls that played in 2007 just really um, came together and, and played really strong. Um, I don't even remember having that great of a year that year. It, it really was just an ultimate team win, and, uh, you know, I'm really proud of us for, for doing that and giving USC a national championship. You know, you scored big goals back then, and, and it never really stopped. I mean, you scored, you've scored the game winner in back-to-back uh, NWSL finals. And it, you know, I'm just wondering, as a striker, they always say that you have that, like, poacher's instinct. You know, is that mm-hmm. really innate, or you know, where does that come from? Is that really just the product of all the work you put in? <laughs> um, I think it's the product of all the work I put in. Uh, you know, I've spent years and years on the practice field, you know, working at my technique and – I'm uh, just trying to make myself better. So there's nothing that comes overnight. And, and I do think there is something innate, you know, in, in players and in strikers. But um, for me, it's something that I work day in and day out. And really thankful that I'm able to, you know, help my team out when they need me. You know, one thing at USC, we always reflect on the, you know, the great accomplishments. You were, you were honored at the Coliseum when you came back for the football game. How was that? Yeah, it was so awesome. Um, you know, I had a ton of fans cheering my name and standing up for me, which <laughs> – you know, felt so cool because I was such a big fan, you know, of the football game. And to see them, you know, be a fan of me and mine, you know, that was, was really cool. You know, if we had our images of the year this year, there's no doubt you celebrating on the field with your son after winning the World Cup mm-hmm. would make it amazing, amazing pictures. You know, what did that moment mean to you? I mean, obviously this country has absolutely embraced you and your teammates, but you getting to share that, you know, with your son, what did that mean to you? For me, it meant the world. And I think for him, he just thought it was just another day at the park. Yeah, his <laughs> eyes are just wide open. Um, he he loved it, and I can't wait for one day to show him those pictures and to reflect on, you know, what a journey it was for me to come back after having him. Um, you know, I'm so grateful to have him in my life, and he's really pushed me to succeed, and, you know, I just want to make him proud. You know, the funny thing is the scouting report says that you're better after you had your son. Is it true? <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> a better soccer player, I should say. I don't know. <laughs> Not a better person. I, I won my national championship with USC you know, before <laughs> I had him. So, you know, I don't, I don't know. Jerry's out. <laughs> what has it been like you know, being a part of this team, as I said, that's so beloved, and, and now you're on this victory tour? I mean, you know, what has this ride been like for you and your, for your U.S. teammates? Uh, for Team USA, this has been an amazing last few months. After bringing home the World Cup, um, we had such a welcoming homecoming from – all the fans and, and just so much American pride. I think that, you know, we're so happy to have represented America and just feel really blessed that we're making everybody proud back at home. You know, you've had a phenomenal career and, you know, it started at USC and of course, you know, now, you know, everybody knows you around the world. Um, <laughs> what is it like entering, you know, the second part of your career? I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, you look at me, I'm old, but I mean, you're considered, you're, you're aging and aging soccer okay, player, I'm old. you know, okay. <laughs> I mean, how, how, how is, I mean, how is that transition? Is it, I mean, is it hard to cope with? I know it's hard for me. That's why I'm asking you. Um, luckily I'm not the oldest on my team, but I do feel old when I've got, you know, young college players coming up and, and I'm playing against them in, in national training camp, but, um, it feels good. I, I'm really healthy right now and I've obviously 
um, had a child, but I've worked myself back onto the field. And uh, I do think that there's a new perspective to my game now that I'm a little bit of, an, of a veteran player. Um, you know, I have more experience than some of the younger ones, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with, with how my career has gone, and I just hope to continue to keep going and hopefully win more medals. Well, you're younger than me, and I'm still young, so I say you're young. <laughs> okay. Okay. You know, we just talked to Kidani McAlpine. You know, uh, the, the program had fallen on a couple lean years recently and has played really a whole lot better lately. Uh, what do you think of your women of Troy as, as they, you know, jump into the NCAA tournament as a four seed? I am so excited for them. Um, when I saw the seed today, I was, you know, jumping up and down for them because they've obviously had a great year this year. Kajani has done an excellent job with those girls, and I've been able to catch a few games live, and I've been able to um, watch them on TV as well, and I'm just really impressed. So uh, I'm rooting for them and, and hoping that the four seed turns into a uh, national championship. Well, we are hoping that, too. It is the best season, they say, since 2007, and, of course, that is when you were here, Amy Rodriguez. So, a great ambassador for the program and the school. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And when we come back on uh, Trojans Live, JJ is going to wrap things up with a scouting report for this Colorado game. Thank you to A-Rod. We'll be back at Trojans Live on ESPN LA 710.